Hi, I'm Malcolm Brock, and I'm a cancer researcher and surgeon. For many years, I've been studying the molecular profiles of cancer, trying to predict which patients have cancer that will recur after surgery and which ones won't recur. Recently, I've been studying how cancer spread their metastatic seeds and how these seeds then take root in other parts of the body. More than 130 years ago, the English surgeon Stephen Padgett had the idea that metastatic cancer spread throughout the body much like the wind carries a flower seeds to fertile soil where they'll eventually take root. So we've been looking at how cancer has the ability to manipulate immature cells from our own immune system to help fertilize this soil. These immature cells, like cadets in a police force, are blocked by certain cancers from growing up or from differentiating into cancer-fighting mature immune cells. Instead of acting like police and fight cancer, these immature cadets over time help cancer spread by creating an environment in a distant organ that is ideal for a metastatic cell to grow and flourish. We have found a combination of drugs that seems not only to limit how many immature cells are attracted to these distant organs, but also these drugs force those immature cells to mature quickly into cancer-fighting cells and stop their cancer-promoting activity.